I think we have a new unboxing video. This is some kind of a burl I ordered. Let's see what Charles spent money on last night, or whenever I bought it. Here you go. Are you going to do the unboxing on the video? Yeah, sure, why not? Here we go. Yep. It's a burl. It's from burlwood.com. So. Maybe people buy it today. You gotta make dice out of it first, dude. You gotta be able to. You gotta make burl dice first, so you know if they come out right. Aha! All right. So we have is CHB four six nine. I don't know what that is. It's a burl. It's really pretty. See, check it out. I don't know where the focal distance is on that lens right now, but somewhere right in there maybe. Really damn pretty. See that? It's got all kinds of like greens and purples and or greens and pinks in it, and it's like Oh, and dice. Nobody lists dice on their website for use. Oh wait, damn it! I just cut the pack and slip up. Yay! Now I gotta tape that all back together. What is this? That is very pretty. What is this? Ship to me. Yes, I know that. Oh wait, this is a ship to thing. Never mind. Not a packing slip. Is there a packing slip down here? I don't know if there's pink shit for Jamie to pick up later. Hey! Alright. Damn it. I don't know what it is. It's a burl. It's cool. It looks cool. I'll figure it out what I ordered later today. So we, let's see. You know, we don't have an intro for the Artisan Dice videos. We do for all the Burnout Radio stuff. Alright, you guys are watching Shop 2.0 on Artisan Dice and the whole upgrade after the latest Kickstarter, right? Uh, well, what you Kickstarter guys really want to know is I just finished up Pledge Manager 2.0 in the wee hours of this morning. So, um, you guys can check it out at artisandice.com slash pledge dash manager. It's in beta right now. It's, it's, it's unlocked. You guys can go poke around, try to break it, um, see what all the errors are, uh, and then put your comments on the, on the Pledge Manager in right below here in the updates. Uh, do not email me, do not message us on Kickstarter, do not post in the general Kickstarter stream. Please post all your Pledge Manager stuff either on this update or there's a post on Facebook that you guys can post there too. But keep those in those two spots so we'll keep them all in one area. Um, so anyway, go check it out. It should be fully functioning now. Uh, try to break it so that I can fix it before we make it live. Uh, hopefully we're leaving beta over the weekend, and then Monday I will fix everything you guys find wrong with it, and then hopefully Tuesday uh, we'll start sending out uh, surveys for you guys to uh, put in all your Kickstarter information on Kickstarter, and in that link to the survey, you will have a link to the Pledge Manager. So we're gonna roll it out in stages, starting with the Maybackers. Um, you guys will be the first ones to get your, get your survey invites and your Pledge Manager invites, because you guys need to get your stuff out pretty quick. Um, okay. That's it for Pledge Manager. So yeah, go check it out, artisandice.com slash pledge dash manager. Uh, next up, for the rest of this video, we're going to show you kind of the upgrade stuff we've done to the shop and, and how much cooler this place is than it was two months ago and one of the reasons, some reasons why we were down for so long, getting all the stuff together. Uh, one of the things we did that's really cool is our old crappy laser cutter, it's gone. And this is the size jig that we use make dice in that laser cutter because it's small. Um, we don't need those anymore. What we have now is this big monster. That old jig held nine sets. This dude holds 48 sets of dice. So that is uh, four dozen sets that we run on the laser cutter at once. Um, it takes a long, long time to fill these jigs up. So uh, we've made a bunch of these. Um, well, I say a bunch, they're for different things. Like we've got uh, jigs for doing our assorted D20s, the jigs for doing our assorted D10s and our D6s, and then the jigs for this. And then we've got a bunch of blank jigs that we'll cut for uh, specialty things. So um, I've actually got a little video clip coming up that will show you a little bit how we cut the uh, jigs. And also, uh, for you guys that have the subscribes, we have finished the May subscribes. So you guys are going to get to see those a little bit later in the video. Uh, you guys can go get a sneak peek of what you're getting. We did some special for y'all. Uh, since you're the first uh, subscribe backers, you guys are going to get um, 
you rock back box from a out, out of our out of Lignum Vitae, Argentine Lignum Vitae, and your woods are going to be Cataloche. It's actually spelled Catalox, but it's pronounced Cataloche, and uh, Satine. So okay, that's Kickstarter. Cool. Um, you guys will get those shortly after you fill out your survey, basically as soon as your survey comes in. Um, we will probably be getting those out next week, so because they're, they're ready to go. Uh, for you polyhedral guys, um, the Mega Scribe Factors, we don't have yours done just yet. Uh, they'll be done shortly, probably before um, you get your Kickstarter surveys filled out, they'll probably, probably be done. Um, and then they will be going out shortly after that. And in the next video, you guys may get a sneak peek of, of what you're getting, or you may get a surprise. We'll see if it's a pleasant really for y'all as well. Anything else? Uh, we've got some cool stuff we're going to show you guys. The first D20 that we cut on our CNC machines, as well as the minion sleeping on the job. Um, and really about it, dude. Show you, show, show you some cool CNC stuff, show you the laser cutters, show you kind of sort of how we use the CNC stuff to rough out our dice so we can get the hand polish and stuff. So I guess we'll see you guys what, in a week. We do about whatever week. Sure. Something like that, yeah. So, Sometime you know, later this week or part of next week, you guys will be on the video. And we'll show you even more. Oh, and this came in this week. Uh, this is our V9 Creator. Uh, this is a 3D printer. So we have all kinds of cool tools now. It is time for this week's video, and I thought I'd show you something really cool other than a minion in a machine. It's our first D20. That's it, right there. This is the first part we've made on the new Tormox. Uh, say hi, Zach. Hey. Zach is uh, currently sealing up the behemoth so that we can run test parts on him. That should give you a, some sense of scale how big this thing is. So that's our big machine, and that's Zach. Cool. Yeah. The, uh, the CNC minion, and this right here is our 770 Colossus. He is a smaller machine, but uh, still fairly large. Um, and this is kind of our setup we use to machine our dice. So we've got a rotary, rotary fourth axis there, a little bit of bar stock sticking out the end, which is where that dude came from. And then we use a flood coolant to wash away the chips, and they make these pretty little piles down here. You guys can kind of see. And then that's the tailstock. We don't actually use the tailstock, but it's just sitting there for right now because we were test fitting some parts. So, but what I bet you guys want to see is us actually making one of those. So, how about um, I shut up and uh, show you the video of how we made this?
this is our first D20 that we've made in the new shop. It's our first actual, I guess you could say, uh, production ready D20. Uh, so I thought it fitting that we give this to our first Kickstarter back from this project. So I don't remember your name off the top of my head because um, it's been a while. Uh, but David's got it written down who the first backer was. And so when you get your order, uh, you're going to receive this really cool, really cool, uh, I guess, piece of artisan dice history. So uh, it's our first die we made, first metal die we made.